welcome to 27th lecture we are studying stochastic processes and in this lecture we are going to study capital gambler's ruin problem this is a classical problem related to related to markov chains and it belongs to a specific chain a chain specific to markov processes the markov chain that governs gambler's process is this that and the concept is that the gambler has started playing with some amount maybe with with dollar one maybe with dollar one and and, and a coin is tossed and the probability of getting a hat is p and if a hat appears he gets or she gets one more dollar and the state the new state is two and it, it keeps on going possibly if he or she gets this m dollar and at this point the gambler wins but if the outcome is a tail it's a tail with probability one minus p so it or he or she moves to one previous state maybe if at this point when he has one dollar and a tail appears the gambler will join and will remain in this zero state forever right so this is a markov chain with one to m minus one states are these are all transient states right but this one state and the last state state number zero sorry the state number zero and state number one are absorbing states so out of these absorbing states if the gambler runs into either zero or either zero or m he or she will remain there forever so zero and m are absorbing states and all other states are transient so this is a mark of chain and what is the probability that that the gambler that the gambler will win the game well if suppose he or she starts from from one this means that is a transient state so starting from this transient state the probability that the gambler wins is that he or she finally is absorbed in this nth state so absorption in nth state starting from any transient state maybe most probably with state one is is the probability of gamblers winning the game so starting from any transient state one to a minus one we'll find the probability that the process is finally absorbed in state number m right for transient states we already know that ai the problem the probability of being in state in being in any state while the initial state is i the starting state is i is written by this recursive formula this is we studied this expression was studied in in last lecture this we studied in the last lecture and by putting this form and we also studied that for transient states this formula is for transient states and what's about the absorbing state if if we are computing probability of being absorbed in state m the absorbing state m it's a small a a a subscript m would be written as equal to one and a's for all other absorbing states would be zero so we have one more absorbing state in this chain so a of zero would be written as equal to zero if we want to find out the probability of being absorbed in state m but if you want to find out the probability if the case is vice versa you want to find out the probability of 
gamblers being drawn we'll write a0 is equal to a1 and am is equal to a0 so we'll cover both cases right so a1 by replacing i with a1 so this i is also replaced with a1 and then we expand this formula and this transient probability transition probabilities are computed are taken from from the markov chain mentioned above and come to a point where a1 is 1 minus p a0 plus p times a2 and then we repeat this process for a2 and this is the same formula the same regression based formula this one that we studied in our last lecture if we continue with this formula we get a2 is equal to we get a2 is equal to 1 minus p a1 plus p times a3 so out of these two expressions that we computed for a1 and a2 we can from this expression and from this expression we know we know that we come to know that for ai in general this is 1 minus p times 1 minus p times a of one previous state by a my i minus 1 plus p times a of one of the next state right this is 1 minus p a i is 1 minus p times a of the previous state plus p times a of the next state right so a the long-term probability can be written like this but for but for for this Markov chain that that is that corresponds to gambler's showing problem. Now let's find out let's find out more about this problem with the help of this example and keeping in view this basic result obtained from this general chain. Which general chain? This general chain. So in this example that we are gonna cover now is the difference is that now we have only five states from zero to four and state zero and state four are absorbing states one two three states number states one two and three are transient and if we want to find out ai ai the formula for ai is the same as we derived here and then we find a is for the transient states we have three transient states a1 a2 and a3 we know that that we use this formula only for transient states and for absorbing states the absorbing state the state in which we are going to find the probability of being absorbed is 4 here therefore we'll put a4 is equal to a1 and a4 a0 is equal to a0 or a is of all other absorbing states is put equal to zero so we must we want to find out the probability of gamblers winning in long term right so putting a0 is equal to a0 here and a4 is equal to a1 here we are left with three equations and three variables and when we'll solve these linear equations we come up with a1 is equal to 1 over 4 so if the gambler starts with if the gambler starts with with one dollar the probability that he will or she will be winning the game is one by four so probability is one by four provided that the coin being tossed is a fair coin right in order to find a general expression for a1 we we repeat this problem for eight states instead of instead of instead of m is equal to 4 we now have m is equal to 8 right we now have, have m is equal to 8 but before 
going for m is equal to 8 the probability of winning is 1 by 4 so let's compute the probability of ruining for this m is equal to 4 chain or this m is equal to 4 chain with m is equal to 4 so let's find out the probability of ruining the probability of ruining is we have computed all the way in the same way except we have put a 0 is equal to 1 and a 4 is equal to a 0 opposite to what we did when we were going to compute when we were going to compute probability of winning so now we are have put a4 and a0 opposite to what we had done previously and now the probability of ruining is 3 by 4 75 percent 75 percent there's a 75 percent chance that the gambler will ruin him or herself if the number of states are 5 m is equal to 4 so if m is equal to 8 starting from dollar one and if the gambler has to gamble all the way and reach up to eight and the coin is fair and the coin is fair we'll repeat the pro the same problem but this time with m is equal to eight and we reach to a probability of ruining is seven by eight is seven by eight more than what we obtained when we had m is equal to when we had m is equal to m is equal to 4 so in general if we have a fair coin and all the probabilities are the same the probability of the probability that uh, of appearing are our head or a tail is the same as 0.5 the probability of winning for an m state chain is 1 over m and the probability of winning is 1 minus 1 over m what happens the probability of winning as m increases what is the probability of winning for really large value of m of course if m increases to infinity 1 over m approaches 0 if m approaches infinity 1 over m approaches 0 this means for very really large value of m probability of winning the gambler approaches 0 and since probability of ruining is 1 minus 1 over m and as m increases this term decreases and it approaches 0 so 1 minus the term that approaches 0 is the term is is an answer that approaches to 1 so probability of ruining is almost 100 percent for very large value of m right and of course as the m increases the chances of gamblers being ruined also increase the chances are the chances also the chances of his or her being ruined also increase right in this that's all for this lecture in the next lecture sp28 we will continue with with absorption and expected time of absorption in absorbing states in a Markov chain. Thank you.